About this clip. About this clip is in effect that, when applied to a clip, displays basic information about the clip. This can be convenient in a collaborative environment. To add to all clips at once, type Command A. To select all in the storyline, double click on the About This Clip effect in the Effect Browser. The Basics There are parameters to adjust the scale, text color, background color and the background opacity. The effect is designed on an on-screen control. All you have to do is click and drag in the area of the background to place the information anywhere on the screen. About this clip displays the project name at the top followed by the clip name, as source media. The clip name can be changed in the storyline by right-clicking on the clip and selecting Rename Clip. After you type in a new name, upon pressing Enter or Tab or clicking the mouse out of the name, the source media will be updated with a new entry. In a collaborative setting, this can be used to pass along short but important information about a clip, as a notation. The import date is the timestamp of when the clip was added to Final Cut. The sample rate displays the information about the attached audio. If you detach audio, and move the playhead, the sample rate will revert to 6000 which means no audio. The frame size displays a string beginning with NS size, colon, and within the braces, the horizontal then vertical aspect of the clip. This odd structure is forced by the way the data is kept for a clip, and the text cannot be altered. Field dominance is an indicator of interlacing, or how Final Cut recognizes the state of interlacing of a clip. When the field dominance is zero, or off, FCPX is not conforming the clip to the project with respect to interlacing. When the field dominance is 1, this indicates the footage is progressive. Field dominance values of 2 or 3 indicate interlacing. The value of 2 means upper first or the value of 3 means lower first. Lower first is the interlacing used for MPEG-2 and all codecs designated with DV. Most of you may recognize MPEG-2 as the codec used for DVD so you may see how that is related. Upper first is the interlacing used in every other codec not designated by DV. Display format indicates the clip's properties regardless of project settings. Clip end is the length and frames of the clip. The section below clip end indicates how the current selection appears in the storyline. Typically, the start value is zero. When a trim edit is made at the beginning of the clip, start will update to display the amount of the trim. The end value is similar to start. When a trim edit is made at the end of the clip, the new end time value will be displayed. The length indicates the time of the clip end minus the time of the clip start. You will notice that this is typically one frame less than the clip end value since all clips start with zero and the zero frame is the first frame of the clip. Since about this clip is in effect, you can use one or more shape masks to limit which portions of the information is displayed. If you decide to use masking with the effect, and would like to apply the new setup to all clips, you can save your effect setup by clicking Save Effects Preset and supplying a new name. Use the preset when applying to clips in the future. Once a project is finished, to remove about this clip from all clips, select the entire storyline and select Remove Attributes from the Edit menu.
Uncheck all of the top level attributes for effects and audio, then select only the about this clip entry. Click remove. Do not use remove effects as this will remove every effect from all clips without asking which ones to remove. This speaker was created with a text script and converted to speech audio with Convert to Speech AIFF, available on fcpxtemplates.com. The speaker's voice is further modified with pitch shifter and multipressor effects.